What up, y'all? Uh, today, I wanted to go over um, some uh, talk about spiritual soul ties with the narcissist. And, you know, so these would be, <clears throat> you know, you could have spiritual soul ties with uh, good individuals and you could have them with evil individuals. And so I'm going over the topic of the ones with the evil individuals because um, what we've been dealing with is narcissism. And so a lot of us have, I would say, every one of us have formed some sort of a spiritual soul tie or um, bondage that has come from this in regards to just the Trump bond alone. You know, so just with that in, in itself has has um, shown uh, enough evidence to me that we've all, if we went through the trauma bond, then we're dealing with soul ties. Um, and uh, so... Uh, spiritual soul ties, um, uh, it, it's a it's a bond um, that unites uh, you with someone else, uh, and, and it's a connection. Um, it, there's three types uh, of soul ties. Uh, the first one would be like close relationships. You can have um, close relationships with friends. Um, number two would be uh, through vows, vows and commitments. Um, you know, promises made with the words of your mouth, okay? And number three uh, would be uh, sexual intimacy. Um, and the more intimate uh, you are with a person, the more tighter those bonds become. Uh, and uh, so it's kind of like the analogy of, uh, um, you know, you, uh, you can have two boards that if you glue them together, you let them dry. Um, they're stuck together, and then if you were to come by and just pull them, rip them apart, you're going to find that, um, you know, both of those boards are going to have each other's particles uh, stuck to them as well. Um, and that's kind of how a soul tie uh, works in individuals. It's like when you have sexual contact, you're actually uh, leaving, like, particles uh, and pieces of your essence um, and of your, your body and your soul, um, they get left, uh, inside the individual, like for instance, like your seed and stuff like that. And then, um, they also, uh, get inside of you. Um, and so, you know, just, uh, from like intercourse and things like that, it's deeper than, uh, uh, in the spirit realm than we think, than we know, than we could ever imagine. And, when you think about, um, you know, it, it talked about, you know, the sexual intimacy uh, uh, could be formed soul ties, but also the vows and the commitments, the promises and the words of your mouth, right? But it kind of made me think, like, you know, when you have sex and you're and you're talking when you have sex, sometimes like people, you know, like you could be in the middle of that intimacy, and then you know, sometimes they'll be telling you like things like, uh, you know this or that is yours and and whatever and do you love me and all that stuff so like when when you're actually in the midst of doing having intercourse and then um these these sorts of vows and things can come at you too without you even knowing that you know you're getting yourself committed into things uh you know and and committing yourself to like vows and things in in the midst of actually intimacy as well which kind of furthers you down the road um and the progression of this so i mean we all know a lot of the manipulation tactics that the narcissist uses right and so they use uh soul ties and things uh for their benefit for their dark pleasure um and ways to get us connected to them for life you know because they always want supply um but you know behind that there's even you know demonic entities and they want they're out for your soul so there's you know there's a multiplicity of things that are going on, you know, in the mix here, whether or not the narcissist knows unbeknownst to them and unbeknownst to you and unbeknownst to me. Right. Um, but, you know, I just wanted to go over a few of the manipulate manipulation tactics that they use, which we all know. But um, I just want to just reiterate them because these are also ways that also cause this soul tie to be, um, you know, uh, further bonding us. So in those manipulation tactics, you have the trauma bond, right? So you, and then you have cohesive co coercion, coercion, 
And that's like when you're an extension of them, they make a lot of rules and you follow them. You walk on eggshells. If you disobey them, you're going to get raged on. And so you kind of, you know, get in where you fit in, you become their slave. So that's what that is. Intermittent reinforcement, we all know that's the oxytocin, that's the serotonin, that's the cortisol and the dopamine. And those rushes from the hot and the cold and the up and the down. And that's where they form that addiction. They mirror you. They, um, they, 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 they data mine you. They mirror you. Um, then you fall in love with them or, or fall in love with yourself. Um, and then, um, you know, they, they also through this, they fake the, um, the twin flame, uh, uh, soul, soulmate. Uh, and it's the imposter. It's the carbon copy. It's the fake. Um, but you know, a lot of times we can believe that they're the real, you know, twin for a while, cause we don't know what we're dealing with. And in the beginning, we're believing them to some degree. Uh, then they also future fake with you because they've been data mining you and nobody can future fake like they do, um, because they have all this information on you and they're actually exploiting you. And then they also project like their, um, soul energy or their negative energy onto you while they steal your good soul energy. And so, you know, you get stuck with their, at their energy vibration and with their, their energy traits. And so these are things I just wanted to go over real quick. There's many more. They also wear the mask and um, they also can take the, slip the mask. But um, there's also other things with the pathological cheating and lying and the, the love bombing and the, the sex bombing and just all the different things. But I just wanted to go over those because it gives you an idea of what these manipulations are, are coming from that make them even stronger than like, say, if it was just an average person that you fell in love with or something. So you got to understand that we are also uh, triune beings, which means we're body, soul, and spirit. We're spirit beings, but we're functioning in a physical realm and we're stuck in an avatar that holds us here. Okay. But we're also, you know, mind, will, and emotions. And so, you know, these are all things that in, embody us, make us uh, humanity, but also, um, you know, our spirit beings. And, you know, so we live on after this. We live, you know, if you're a good spirit being, you're going to live on forever. And if you're a, a damned spirit being, uh, you will be blotted out at some particular time in the future. Um, this is our court. This is our judgment is here. This is where, um, what determines our future, you know, uh, as far as our future eternity. And so... We want to, you know, we want to, uh, um, we don't want to act right and perform. I hate to use those terms. Um, they all sound good, but what we want to do is be our authentic self and, and be obedient to the almighty. Okay. So that's the way I, I kind of like to say it. Um, but, uh, so signs of a top toxic soul tie, I kind of, um, you know, kind of was going through this a lot. And, uh, I came up with, um, you know, I don't know, I think it's like 12, 12 or 13 of these. Um, but the first one is, is, uh, you can't stop thinking about them and you're always concerned about how they feel. Um, your partner, I'm just going over the love partner thing. I'm not going over the friendship and all that other stuff. So this would be the love partner, the one that you're having sex with, the one, the narcissist that you were with. So, you know, um, because this is a narcissistic channel that we're dealing with, um, NPD. So, um, you know, you can't stop thinking about it and they're always on your mind. And, you know, you're always trying to make sure that things are good for them. I mean, at least when you, when you were in the situation, just to get you an idea of how this thing formed, you know, um, and you're always concerned about it. That's why you end up walking on eggshells and you always want everything to be, to be cush for them, man, you know, and, 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 and you were, last on on that train um but we don't do that anymore because we love ourselves first and you know everything else is going to be secondary to that because we are not dealing with um you know uh not loving ourselves anymore we're not doing that shit so anyway um number two is uh uh you want them even though like they're they're um they've been abusive to you and towards you 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 still want them you, you want them uh, uh, just the same or even more. And, and it could be physical abuse, 
it could be uh, spiritual abuse, it could be, um, you know, uh, verbal abuse, um, or it could be all of those uh, with the pathological. We know, you know, you find out they're even cheating on you almost, and you know, because you haven't caught them red handed maybe right away, um, or something, you know, you'll, I mean, you don't let that. You'd never let this slide um, if there wasn't a soul tie and this trauma bomb, you know, born in you or, you know, formed in you. Um, and then, so the next one would be you only have a desire to have sex with the narcissist um, or that kind of energetic, um, you know, vibration or level. So uh, that that could happen very easily when you're with them. And you can get to a point to where you can have somebody that's really good looking come by and you ain't even like you ain't even into it because, you know, you got to get that. You got to get that hit, you know, um, and also uh, the next one would be there's trait swapping that takes place when you're with a narcissist. You know, you're, you're trading traits, you know, like when they project onto you and they take your energy, that's like they're throwing their traits onto you, their spirit like and and then you're you're performing like them for a while while they're performing with your good energy and you'll be out here getting in fights and arguments with people and acting like you don't act because they threw their energy on you and then they'll be out there having all peace and harmony while they're getting the new supply and monkey branch and new supply see this is how this stuff works but this is all soul tie driven um you know so you got to be careful and when you're around them long enough you know you do pick up on traits from them and uh, and some of their you know you know ways so you gotta you gotta uh, detox they're toxic now you gotta detox when you get away from them if you start seeing uh, traits that you're kind of following under that was uncommon for you before or it's just it's not a good idea it's not authentic then you know you gotta detox from that um, next is like number five you're gonna have like confusion is is, is in dealing with uh, you know these individuals and this individual in dealing with the soul ties it's because you're what you're doing is you're getting confused because you're mixing uh darkness and and trying to mix darkness and light together and 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 they repel each other so you can't do that and because you're trying to do that that causes confusion six is um um they may be married or in a current relationship so this is like stuff that you're doing off on the side and you can't get out from under it because you just can't stop you're so addicted to it or whatever or you just got to have it and you got these ties with this individual but they're actually committed to other relationship or, or a marriage you know you can't do that um but it happens out there um people have i mean people that are in these situations that um may not have those kinds of regards will do it anyway i don't know um, but, uh, next is, uh, you, there's no peace in your life. Um, you know, because you're going down this road that you're miserable, your anxiety, your pain, you, you, um, you just, you, you don't have any power to stop it. Um, and it's, 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 you're getting all this no peace and it's miserable and all this stuff because it's going against the construct of God and the almighty and like goodness and the good nature. And you know what they're, they are. You know what they're made of. They're 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 made of evil, and it's going against your intuition. And because you're going, and, and you know that it could turn to dust tomorrow, and so could all of your finances and everything. So it's very shaky ground. It's very scary to do on a daily basis. Um, next is number nine is gonna be or eight is gonna be like you're tormented. Your mind's tormented. It's going um, down the wrong road. The constructs are wrong, and you know. You're not you're not using your intuition, you know. You're going against it, or you're not using it. One or the other. Usually, it's telling you you could run it over or whatever. But then you're also like, this is turning into rumination. Next is uh, nine, and it's like to say, don't be disobedient. You know, if this blocks your blessings, and you know it's wrong, and um, you know it's it's all, you know, you don't want to like be disobedient to God because this is it leads to blocking your blessings and it puts you a, a, a curse on you and makes you accursed okay so then um a lot of these can come out of uh forms of like maladaptations that you both have or that the narcissist first creates in you like you may not have been codependent 
but they're codependent. So we already know they're maladaptive. So now they're beating you down. They make you codependent or make you maladaptive. And so this makes you having to depend on each other. Okay, so this is one of the constructs also that's in the this um, manipulation tactics that they use. Um, the other thing is, uh, you know, so, you know, your feelings are, are telling you one thing, but then your, uh, your spirit's telling you another. Okay. And, and that kind of goes along with like your spirit and your, um, discerning of spirits and your intuition as well. Okay. So, um, the next is like, um, and the last one I'm going over is, is like, you think you're in love with them. But, you know, your emotions could, you got to understand that your emotions could always be lying to you. You always got to leave them up for debate that they're lying to you because your emotions are part of your flesh. And, you know, when I was a child, they used to talk about this in church. I mean, when church had some sort of meat to it, which today it's just, you know, it's ridiculous a lot of times. And I hate to say that there's not all churches are ridiculous, but there's a lot of good churches out there. But the smaller ones are the better ones. Um, in my humble opinion, but, uh, they would say that, um, you know, that don't follow your emotions because it's part of your flesh and your flesh could always lie to you. So, and, and it's the case here too. And it makes sense when you go through stuff in this platform, because what happens, they get you emotional first, they hijack your emotions. And if they could hijack your emotions, that means that your emotions are not always going to tell you the truth. That's the proof right there in the pudding. Because your emotions got you screwed up in this in the first place. That's kind of where they started, in my humble opinion. Remember, you don't want to react. You want to respond. And when you start responding instead of reacting, you, you take your power back. Why? Because you're taking your emotional power back first. And so um, it's very, very powerful. And if it's used the wrong way, which they know these things because they also have demonic entities in them and they know how to yield, wield these things, wield these things. But, you know, the Lord is always there and he'll direct us. If we don't know what we're dealing with, he's going to, he's going to, um, and, and we're seeking the truth, then we will find the truth. And that's what he did for us. We're truth seekers. Chosen ones are truth seekers. And because we wanted the truth innately in our essence, he finally gave it to us. Yeah, it took a long time, but there was reasons for that because he was growing seeds in you. You know, he was building something strong in you, making you weather the storm for a while so that um, you'd be appreciative and you'd be have strength to withstand more than you'd ever think you could. So what happens is, is emotions, they're part of the flesh and sensations uh, that you get in your body equal emotions. This is what turns to emotions. And then emotions, they, they start to equal feelings. Okay. And this is the construct of how things work in, in your, in your mind and, and how these work. So emotion, sensations equal emotions and emotions equal feelings. And, um, feelings are how we interpret, interpret the emotions. Okay. And then feelings become thoughts. Okay. So this is how this works. And then uh, you know, a mood is a, a state of mind of, of general thoughts that you have about certain things. And so when you get these certain uh, general thoughts that come up through your feelings, you switch and turn to a mood. Okay. And, and you don't want to be moody, right? But this is um, something that can um, switch you to that. And so you want to be careful because, you know, when you want to, you know, change your ways, you're going to have to change your mood. Um, and so this is where what I, I suggest is don't be afraid to tell people that you need to process your thoughts. Sometimes you need time to process things. It takes you time to swallow them. I tell people all the time, OK, well, I, I need I need about 24 hours or so to, some time to process that. Can I get back to you? Because you want to dwell on it. That's what somebody who's wise is going to do. So I just wanted to say, you know, a couple of good things. That's all with the Sultai thing. But, um, you know, you can salvage the day. You can salvage the week. You can salvage the month and the year um, to say that, you know, things aren't over. Don't give up. You know, all is not lost. It's never lost. You know, it, you know, the trap is to look back 
and what happened and this is what will happen again okay and 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 using uh that you know the the, the map of what was behind to what's going to be in front of you okay and uh uh you know you know don't dare do that when you're making change in your life okay because often you know you'll get many things wrong and 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 you'll have sub substantial room for error you have you have a lot of time in a day and, and days in a week and and they don't have to always be perfect okay but uh you know a lot of times you just have to get one thing right in a day and, and it will change the whole day um you know like uh or 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 one thing right in, in in something in life and it will change your whole life you know like take take dating for instance you know you have countless wrong relationships right but you only need one good one to work that's it you know and um an entrepreneur you know they have tons of mistakes they make tons of mistakes they're swinging that bat and they keep missing you know many swings many swings and they're missing and missing and missing out and, and then they, they 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 hit one 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 that that changes everything changes their life forever because all they need is is one you know one uh you know major thing that 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 you're working on to get through and to make it you know anything can happen if just one thing uh you know gains traction one thing i said today gains traction just one thing by you using your faith then it's worth it it's worth it for the time that's spent out here you know to make good change in somebody's life you know you you don't want to do it it's too hard that's what your flesh will tell you man that's what the enemy would tell you well it's hard well do it anyway do it anyway strengthen yourself be strong you know it's very easy, you know, to, to group, uh, you know, an amount of time together and call it a loss. You know, it, it, it didn't happen today. Maybe it'll happen tomorrow, right? You know, it's, it's easy to look back, you know, at, uh, at, at what you were and build walls up around yourself and, and, and say what you are now, while in reality, there's still value to be squeezed out. Your, your, your life's not over. I hate hearing, and I get it. I've been there, you know, where people are just, they're, they're done. They feel like they're done, that they're over. Whatever they had was, was uh, the, the greatest time was uh, in the past. And it's not the greatest time and your, your greatest um, days are ahead of you. Um, you know, just because what existed before now doesn't mean there isn't um, a will buried in there you know, for some more, you know, all is not lost, you know, if time remains, um, you know, it might be like psychologically easier to walk away from the day, right? Um, because, you know, the first half wasn't good, you know, but that's, that, that's not, uh, you know, that's not, you know, the main thing is, is um, somewhere in there uh, contains a seed that, that will grow, you know, and at least begin the process uh, of growing what you need, okay? You know, it's very easy to, to check out uh, when the past wasn't what you wanted it to be. Uh, yeah, instead of thinking uh, one right move, you know? One right move, you know, right now, you know, changes everything. Changes your motivation. It changes your whole identity, you know? Um... You're always one move, one decision away, you know, from igniting some sort of, you know, momentum, you know, a quote unquote bad day, right? It can, it can change with one incredible decision or action, you know, it, it, it shifts, you know, um, you know, what, what, what was bad or wishing things went a little bit differently, you know, you know, lying in bed, thinking about these things, you know, uh, I wish things could have went a little differently, you know. Um, but you know, instead of letting it, you know, uh, you know, um, 
you know, totally in totality, like, uh, you know, turn, there's something there, you know, make a change, you know, maybe just, you know, one thing, uh, w one action, one decision, you know, to salvage what remains to reposition your outlook on life. You know, there's no loss here. Only the win that hasn't happened yet. Okay. You know, it's time, it's time to, to decide to dig in to, uh, you know, because the road ahead's going, going to be tough, man. It's going to be tough because it's time to put in the work. Okay. You, you, you've been, uh, you know, messing around long enough. It's time for your brighter future to, to happen, to come into fruition. You know, it starts today. Tighten those bootstraps up today, right now. Dig in, soldier, you know, be on guard. You know, be vigilant about your future, man. It takes place now. It's time. You know, give this life your all now. You know, you got, you have the power in you to have great things. If, if you seek these goals and, and fight for them, you know, um, you know, every day, you know, go hard in the paint, you know, show the world who, who you are and, and, and what you're going to become and what you're made of. You know, lose weight, eat right, work out, educate, heal, study, you know, uh, grow your business, you know. We don't fail. We can't fail because you know what? We can't fail. If, 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 you, if, you're, if, you, if you have God in you, God, uh, I used to say, I went through a divorce, man. I, I lost everything, man. And, uh, and I came back like five times, ten times stronger wealth. Um, my activities, everything, my health, everything. And in, in, in a short period of time when I decided to, to, to just work hard every day, man. And, you know, that's where like pain was love for me. Pain was love for me because that pain that I was feeling, I switched it. I switched it and I turned it into like, I turned it into strength. You know, a passion. I might feel like shit today, but that's okay because I'm going to put it into something. I'm going to make sure that I do so I work hard today. And uh, yeah, I may feel like shit today, but I know one day if I keep digging, digging in and grinding this damn thing out, I'm going to get somewhere. I'm going to get somewhere. And, 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 you know, the God in you won't let you fail. He won't let you fail. So, um, you know, I don't know, man, y'all, those, those y'all that want to, um, say a little prayer with me, you can, you know, uh, by is whatever. If, if you, if you, um, believe, uh, so here we go. Father, we release all resentment in an effort to be obedient and victorious, okay? Um, so, uh, you know, in, in the name of Jesus, lay, lay, lay your hands on your belly, man, you know? Um, I renounce every ungodly so tie right now in the name of Jesus. Uh, I renounce every chain over my soul right now in the realm of the spirit in the name of Jesus. I break these holds. I break this over my mind. I break this over my will and I break this over my emotions. I am set free by the power that's in the blood of Jesus. And this ends now. And we bind those soul ties and we curse them and send them back to hell where they came from. In Jesus' name, amen. We're starting fresh today, and we're going to stand up tall. We're going to straighten our backs out, and we're not thinking about what happened in the past because today's a new day, and we take this thing moment to moment, and we're walking this thing out. Today's new. It's fresh. We're clean. 
we're being obedient. We're gonna get, we're gonna meditate, get in the word, be healthy. We're gonna do everything that it takes and God will give us the desires of our heart. Okay, so give me a thumbs up, a like, subscribe. Stand tall, soldier up. Peace out, love y'all. Peace.